All right, let's get down. Let's get down to business. Okay, um, we are going to be doing trees, and you're going to do warm colors and cool colors when we do it. So this is in the art techniques, tips, and tricks section. Um, toward the back, step by step, drawing trunks, drawing branches, drawing leaves. Mer. Um, so we've got this area. We've got if I can open it, branches, like adding some details, you know, little hatching lines, adding apples, that kind of thing. Um, so it's at the very back. So here's what I want you to do. We're gonna be doing a tree. You can choose whether you want it to be in a vertical orientation. You probably want this to fit into your visual journal. So you can put it into your book and you can trace it. Um, once you've got that done, I am going to put sort of a eye line, horizon line. Then my trunk is going to be going in this area. So I'm going to draw, it kind of looks like an H. And then I'm gonna do that. Um, usually to make things look like they're coming towards you, trees may have like root stalk kind of coming out so that they're coming up from the ground. Um, and then we've got this area. So once you draw where your trunk's gonna be, I'm gonna erase the part of the horizon line that goes through it. And then I'm gonna work on this top area. So branches tend to be what people struggle with the most. Um, what I like to do is go to the center of where this trunk is. And I'm going to kind of draw up and then up here, I'm gonna draw a chicken foot, chicken foot, um, and then draw Y's coming out from it. So like Y, 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 Y do we have to draw a tree, you know? Um, and then here, I'm gonna do another one. So Y, why, 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 why is she making me draw a tree? Why, 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 why do we have to do this? Uh, because it's good for you. And the more practice you get, the better you get. So I kind of start adding texture as I come down. And then I add bigger whys coming off to the side. And you can also like, um, in the packet, it kind of shows like where they come in front. There may be branches that kind of come around. You can kind of like anchor them to the trunk. So like they, there can also be branches that come up from behind. And again, why, 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 why? And you just bring them down. So why? Why, 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 why? You just keep going. Why, why? Notice that I'm not worried about like where it overlaps. Um, this is almost a gesture drawing kind of thing because you're really coming out from it, adding. And then as you come back down, you're adding like, volume to it and space inside. Now you can look at a specific tree if you want to, but this is really just practice. So adding those Y's, making the Y's bigger and like come out more each time. Why, 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 why? And like here, I'm gonna thicken this up First, I'm gonna make it look like it's coming out from behind it. So I kind of like curved my edge here. Then Y, maybe even a Y that faces down. Why? The 
upper branches tend to go up more vertically, the lower branches can kind of like come down as well because they're searching for any spot where they can get their leaves to get that chlorophyll, get that sweet, sweet chlorophyll to give them food. <laughs> um, so you just keep going and kind of keep building like maybe I want like a branch here coming out. Like you can build these bigger branches and then just as you get to the ends, why, 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 they can cross over. I'm gonna thicken this trunk up a little bit so that it makes sense with the rest of it. Notice that I'm adding a little texture. Half of the problem with sometimes when you're drawing is that you're not thinking about like texture wise, you don't have to draw everything perfect, especially if you're gonna have texture on it. Um, so there's my tree. Yours does not have to be exactly like it, um, but then you're gonna go in and you're going to go in with a permanent marker and you're going to trace and you can add more like Y's and things to it. And then you have to pick what area you're going to do warm and what area you're gonna do cool. Like, do you want the tree warm colors and the background cool colors? Um, do you want the tree cool colors and your background warm colors? Kind of like a sunset's going on in the background. So it really just depends on what you're doing. This is the drawing portion of it and then we'll be doing the painting portion of it next.